Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Colleen McCray Katz, and tonight I'm going to be making something I call fancy schmancy cucumber sandwiches. This time I'm using the garden vegetable. I'm also going to use a cup of sour cream. I sliced very, very thinly a cucumber. I have a teaspoon of seasoning salt. I have some fresh dill and fresh ground black pepper. Now I also have white bread and this is your typical tea sandwich bread. You cut off the crusts and a trick is to roll them with a rolling pin to get them pretty thin. So you just put your sour cream in. You put in your entire tub, garden vegetable, Philadelphia cream cheese, one teaspoon of seasoning salt, and about a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. And I just, I just judge this with my eyes. This is to taste. And then we're going to do our dough. And it's about two tablespoons that I'm going to snip in here. Now come in and look at this. This is about two tablespoons worth of dill. I might even add a little bit more, but that's that's to your liking as well. And then you just blend it with your mixer. That's it. We're done. Our mixture is done and we're ready to go over to our bread. I have 12 slices of bread here. As I said, I cut off the crust, I rolled them with my rolling pin, and I'm going to spread them all with my cream cheese mixture. And these sandwiches, I remember when we were on a trip to Ireland. We were in Dublin, and we were really, really hungry. We were staying in a hotel in Dublin. And the secret about staying in hotels in Ireland is if you're staying in a hotel, the night porters in the hotel will get you anything you want all night long. There's no such thing as closing time. Um, they'll get you drinks, they'll get you food, they'll get you whatever you want all night long. And it was pretty late. We had just come back from a show. We were really hungry. So we went into the pub area of the rest of the hotel and my mother and my husband, my children and I said, we would really like some sandwiches. And we're thinking we're going to get American sandwiches, big, thick sandwiches. So they said, well, we have a sandwich tray. We can bring you a sandwich tray. It's a variety of sandwiches. It has ham sandwiches, etc., on it. So we said, okay, we'll, we'll take that. That sounds good. We're really hungry. And they brought a tray, and it was all tea sandwiches. But there were dozens and dozens of these tea sandwiches. I mean, it was piled with them. It was unbelievable. We ate and ate and ate, and there were still tea sandwiches left over. It was incredible. It's a memory I'll have forever. So that's what these tea sandwiches remind me of. They bring me back... Memories of being with my mom. It was the last trip I ever took with her. And being in Ireland with my family. And that night in Dublin. Boy, oh boy. That was fun. The kids were, their eyes were popping out of their heads when they saw the striped sandwiches. I mean, it wasn't exactly the kind of sandwiches they wanted, but they sure had a lot of them. And they were definitely not hungry after they were done eating them. And... I think that one needs a little more. So we just put some cucumbers on. That's not a good example. Thinly. And I don't have a mandolin. This was done with a knife by hand. And it was not fun. I'm thinking I need a mandolin. Some you ladies out there with mandolins. This will be a much quicker and easier job for you. And you do only put the cucumbers 
on half of your bread because you're going to top it with the other bread. It's so only on six pieces of your bread. And now we just make our sandwiches like this. And having your cucumbers stick out, that's fine. I mean, if, if you're real picky, you can pick up your bread and do that. And the typical tea sandwich is a triangle and a tiny one. Just like that, you slice your bread into quarters, into triangles like that. And those are your typical tea sandwiches. So I've put the leftover of the filling, cream cheese filling, into my handy dandy pastry bag and we're going to just decorate the top of our sandwiches like this. Pretty easy. Now it's time to decorate with our snips of our dill on top like that. Doesn't that look pretty? I remember when my daughter was little, the one mom the, I think it was the little girl's eighth birthday. They decided to do a tea. And the little girls had to come all dressed up in their Easter finery or Christmas finery. I forget when the little girl's birthday was. But they had to come up and come dressed in their very, very finest and preferably with gloves. And the mom used her best china. And she made all kinds of fancy little cakes and little sandwiches just like this. Um, she served it in her dining room. I thought she was insane. And I told her so. But those little girls who are now in their mid-twenties still remember Kayleen's birthday party when they all had tea and on the fancy china in the dining room. So if you moms have little girls and you want to do a really special birthday party for them, here's something that you could do that would make them feel very grown up and very special and maybe like a princess for that day. I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to plate them and I'm going to show you how I would serve them and I'll show you what I would do for a tea. We're now in my dining room, and this is a room that has a lot of great photographs of my family. These are my kids. This is my son. Oh, probably 20 years ago now, and his first Holy Communion. The middle one is me. This is my daughter on her first Holy Communion. Not one, but two wedding pictures. Same people, two weddings. This is our wedding in 1980, July 4th, 1980. Um, my husband was born and raised Jewish and he hadn't converted to Catholicism at that point so we didn't have a Mass. And I always wanted to have a Mass. So on our 10th anniversary, we renewed our wedding vows, we had a Mass reception, the whole nine yards. So that's what this picture is. This is what I've done with my life. Um, my daughter's high school graduation picture and her college graduation picture and my son's high school graduation picture and college graduation picture. And this, this is our Joseph's. It was his daddy's. We have my mother and father in their wedding picture. This also was my mother's. I don't have one of those tiered fancy tea trays, so I made one. This is a, pot, a cake stand, and this is just a charger plate. Um, that's how I would serve it with my china and my silver to make it a nice special day. Again, I like to celebrate the small moments in life and gather the family together. And this room is where we usually gather. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers that are, that want to be, that will someday be and to our moms that are no longer with us. Bye.